Welcome back to Simply Women's Health with CJ. Today I want to talk about um, endometrial biopsies. An endometrial biopsy is a procedure that is done in the office setting. It can be done by a physician, it can be done by a nurse practitioner, a physician assistant, nurse midwife, anybody who's been trained in doing the procedure. Um, the purpose of this procedure is to collect cells from the inside of the uterus and to evaluate for any kind of endometrial cancer. So prior to doing an endometrial biopsy, I always recommend my patients abstain from unprotected intercourse for two weeks before their, uh, before their appointment time. We will want to do a pregnancy test because there, you absolutely cannot have any risk of being pregnant when you do this procedure. I usually recommend that you take some form of a pain reliever, as some, anything that you use for cramping. Um, ibuprofen, Aleve, Celebrex, whatever is your, is your drug of choice. Um, preferably, we want you to come when you're not on your menstrual cycle. It can be done on your menstrual cycle, but the best time to do this procedure is ideally the week before you're due to start your menstrual cycle. All right, so you're going to come into the office. They're going to do a pregnancy test. We're going to make sure that you're not pregnant. Um, and then they're going to explain the procedure to you. Um, the risks and the benefits. And the risks of, uh, with this procedure, um, the, the infamous triad, infection, bleeding, pain. There is a risk that, you, that your uterus can be perforated, but that's pretty uncommon with this procedure. The benefit is we are going to be able to effectively evaluate the cells from the inside of your uterus. If you watched the previous video and I talk about endometrial hyperplasia, a thing we can see on ultrasound, endometrial hyperplasia can be any number of things, but we always want to make sure that those, those cells are not cancerous. So this is actually how we evaluate those cells. Um, so you're going to come in, they're going to they're going to explain everything to you. You typically sign a consent before you do the procedure. Then you're going to um, lay on your table, and you're going to, your uh, provider is going to put a speculum into your vagina. They're going to find your cervix, and then they're going to clean your cervix off with a little bit of betadine. If you have an allergy to shellfish, iodine, anything in the iodine family, make sure that your provider knows that there are some alternatives that you can clean the cervix off with. So we're going to clean off the cervix and then we're going to take a little tiny tube. It's as, as thick as a cooked spaghetti noodle. We're going to go up into your vagina through your cervix up into your uterus and we're going to apply negative pressure. We're going to pull back on this straw and we're going to just twist, 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 bring it out and you'll get some endometrial cells in this little straw. We put them into a little cup just like this me personally, I make a second pass um, with the straw just to make sure that I get enough cells. Some providers will take a little brush and get the little the cells that are right there at the intercervical canal. Then we take the um, take the speculum out and call it a day. You will be crampy. I expect you to be crampy, especially for the first 10 minutes following the procedure, because um, the uterus doesn't want you messing with it. And then after 10 minutes, the, the cramps typically calm down. Um, you may be crampy for the next day or two. Again, you can take those, um, those the ibuprofen, the Aleve, the Celebrex, whatever is your, what is your preferred medication. Um, you may have a little bit of spotting afterwards, not uncommon, um, just because we went in there and, and shook a bunch of those, those cells loose. Um, if you are running a fever, if you are having a foul-smelling vaginal discharge, if you're having bleeding that's enough to saturate a pad in an hour, if you're having pain that is not managed by an over-the-counter product, that's something that you would want to let your, let your provider know about. Typically, the results come back in, um, typically in a week or two, and then your provider can let you know what your results are, and then you can go, and go ahead and decide what you want to do as far as treatment plans go. Treatment plans are going to depend on what your diagnosis is and what you're what you're looking at to what what you're looking at to get better. Um, so that's basically an endometrial biopsy in a nutshell. The per, the procedure only takes it does not take very long at all. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and blow sunshine up your backside. It is pretty uncomfortable. So make sure you take those that medication beforehand. Um, so if you would like to hear anything further about um, biopsies, abnormal bleeding, et cetera, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My email address is simplywomenshealth2023 
at gmail.com. I can be found on Facebook as well as Instagram at CJCEEJAYWHNC. That's all for today. This is CJ at your cervix.